Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Battalion Wars Revisited. Last time, we took the disguise in Call Sign Eagle, where we got a pretty good score in it with a 99% and only slightly suffering in technique. Today, I have to confess something. I screwed up. We were supposed to do the guns at Tiki Bay and basically just have it be the base run of, you know, just like going through this uh, blindly, but unfortunately, uh, the recording for it screwed up and got corrupted, so we're gonna have to replay through Guns at Tiki Bay today, and you can see my abysmal score from the last time we played it. For one reason and one reason only, I was too cocky, and I wish I had the footage saved just so you could see just how uh, reckless I was in that mission, because we did lose a lot of units if technique is anything to go by. However, thankfully, there weren't any new units that for our side that were introduced in this mission, so we didn't have to miss on any of the dossiers. So, without further ado, let's jump into the guns at Tiki Bay and help out the Solar Empire once again. Solar forces are still holding out on the besieged island base at Tiki Bay, but the Exovanes have moved to crush them with a pair of Goliath battle stations. You're the only hope of resisting these giant war machines. The Exylvanians have seized control of Tiki Bay, an island belonging to the Solar Empire. In response, we are coordinating a counterattack with our Solar allies. Brigadier Betty, my noble warriors have recaptured the base at the other end of the island. That's the kind of news I like to hear, Empress Leiko. Commander, all you gotta do is lead the attack on this side of the island. Simple, huh? I offer forth a squad of my bravest men to help you in this endeavor. A very generous offer, Empress. We accept! Alright, so before we get into this, it's time to go over the map overview of the mission. So, we got the Solar Empire over here, protecting their uh, recaptured HQ. Uh, we got a bunch of solar forces along this pathway up here. Got a lot of Exylvanians between us and them, and we got a good number of Exylvanians here in this massive ground battle we're about to take part in. We have a fair decent amount of solar empire reinforcements with us. We got flame vets, or plasma vets in this case. We got assault vets, and we also got a good number of grunts fighting alongside us. Our job is to take out all the ground forces here, take out the interior units, and then hit the battle stations at before they are able to do any damage to the Solar Empire garrison over here. So, simple enough. Advance! Protect our frontier allies at all costs! What's kind of weird is that there's an empty MG nest over there. I guess the game is expecting you to utilize, but honestly, there's no reason for you to have anybody, like, occupy it. So I never understood why there's just an empty MG nest over here. Alright, it's actually best to go with the overhead view, aside from, like, ground view, because it's just a lot easier to figure out where the Exovanes are hiding, so you can direct your troops properly. Alright, uh, let's go with a Bazooka Vet. Wait, man, what, what are you guys doing over here, having a party? Jeez, there we go. Brace yourself, Commander. The Exylvanians have deployed one of their all-conquering battle stations. Well, good thing Remember, we deployed Commander, our all-destructive gunship. Battle stations are vulnerable to airborne attacks, especially from gunships. Okay, so just to go over the battle station fight because I, it gets kind of chaotic here. Your best strategy: stay high. Stay away from the front of the battle station and just keep hitting it in the flank. Its main guns will tear you to shreds, even if you are in a gunship. So you want to be very, very careful. Oh yeah, he's trying to go for me right now. Another good idea is to do a little bait and switch where if you go one way, if it starts getting too close, go the other way to draw its attention away from you. Thankfully, that time went a lot better than the first time around. Just take care of the EMG towers real quick. And we are golden. Alright. Yes, I did. You told me this before when we first invaded the Coral Atolls. 
All right, so we got all our troops, pretty good health. The gunships have pretty good health as well. A lot better than the first time around. So for now, we're gonna keep our gunship hiding over here. Ingrid has more ag ag troops and fighters waiting in reserve. You want to go after the minigun? No, it's another battle station. Nope, nope. There we go. Coming, Squadron 66. Our battle station needs air cover. Alright, there we go. Take care of that guy. Because he's a bit of a nuisance. This battle station has some serious support. I'm going to land some reinforcements on the central island. Reinforcements have landed near the helipads at the center of the island. You'll find them waiting by the silver Okay, star. they took care of him. The armies of Exylvania have built unheralded power. We are unstoppable. Actually, no. I still want to keep my position. I keep forgetting that there's an empty nest Indeed, on the center history island. history has proven otherwise. So, something to note. The battle station, it basically hits like little checkpoints as it makes its way over to the solar base. Basically, every checkpoint is the pair of solar grunts that are going to do their very best to delay it as much as possible. They're going to get wiped out, and every time they get wiped out, it is a hit against your technique. So you want to be fast in getting those fighters taken care of and getting those gunship reinforcements. Now, if you're brave and or insane, you could possibly send the gunship that you already had at it, just in case it did survive the initial battle station fight. And you could try to take out the Exilvania battle station with it. It's not advised to do so because of the fact that there's a pair of Akak vets as well as the fighter squadron over there and also the other Akak vets just littered throughout the entire pathway up to the battle station. Most likely will mean that your gunship is going to get destroyed before it even has a chance to fire off its first salvo of rockets at it. Excellent! Now we have the anti-air support to take down Ingrid's fighter squadron. Oh, there we go. Got him in time. Only then will Frontier Command authorize gunship support. What are your Oh, God, I forgot I brought my gunship over here. Let's get the gunship. Sure uh, that never mind. Never it. That was a uh, complete and total screw up on my end, folks. I can almost smell victory, Brigadier. Bring him on. Okay, let's keep our boys back there. Here comes the fighters. And yeah, they're still just slightly out of range. Just buzzing around like them, my buzzards. Come on, that definitely should be within camp. range of the fighter squadron. There we go. A good indicator to know if a fighter is close enough to be attacked, if you hear the buzzing of its propellers, then that usually is a good indicator that you can target them and fire off your missiles at them. I think that one's gonna go down. No, it's not. It outran the missiles. Ah, uh, come on, that one's so close to dying. All right, one more to go, and there he is. What? I was wondering why I was taking damage. Get out of the water. The battle station has nearly reached the solar base. All right, here he is. Oh, and the other one attacked as well. You sure nailed those fighters, Commander. <sighs> that could have ended horribly. That would have been so embarrassing if I had let this thing uh, drown in the water there. All right, it's getting pretty close to the solar base, so we have you attack the battle station while I focus on taking care of the anti-air duo back here. Come on, 
get him. Get him. And we're gonna lose this gunship, but at least we were able to take, take care of the anti-air units. Oh boy. Woo! Get away from those main guns. Also, probably best to also keep away from the assault vents as well. I'm worried, can I make this guy just drive off a cliff? No. Wouldn't be that easy. We did it, Commander! The island of Tiki Bay is back in the hands of its rightful owners! Once again, I give thanks for your assistance, Brigadier Betty. Perhaps when the war is over, I will dedicate a shrine in your name. What is our interest in the Coral Atolls, Herr Kaiser? The Solar Empire is a minor military power. Long ago, the Iron Legion of Old Exylvania held fearsome dominion over half the nations of the world. Then one fateful night, the Legion marched upon the Solar Empire. The souls were hopelessly outnumbered, yet they had engineered a doomsday device. It drew down the power of the sun. We should call upon our glorious ancestors. It is within your power. The Legion cannot be controlled. There would be no victory, only suffering. Now see, that's a lot more like it. Technique, not as bad as it was last time, although it's still pretty bad with the fact that I got lost three gunships in that, but hey, at least we didn't lose an anti-air vehicle in the dumbest way possible. Power, I think I did a little bit better in power, so hey, you know what, pretty good on that. Got an A rank in that, so I'm happy with the results this time. All right, folks, next time on Battalion Wars Revisited, it's time for us to kick the Exylvanians out of the Coral Atolls once and for all and help out the Solar Empire reclaim their homeland in the Battle of the Coral Atolls. See you guys next time. Later.